spare a couple of teeth. Nice tune. Damn sad, though. Then it successfully conveys my mood. What do you seek here? Looking for the puffin. We've no coin. Leave us be! Think there's been a mistake. Sorry. Thought our landlord had hired another... Another thug? Flattered. Thanks. Forgive us. You look threatening. Nisa's on edge these days. Don't want any coin from you. In fact... Oh, afraid that's impossible. Ever since we premiered our fateful ballad about Holy Hemelfart, who his faith ignores, gorges him... Fatso's gang. Common thugs, and the church is paid. They threaten me, sir. They don't let us perform. Chase away spectators, just... They harm any of you? No. Not... Nisa overheard talk. All right. Say I... Of course. But... I'm not a great talker anyway. Say it 
again. So you're the ones. Oh, I thought so. Look who we got here. Is it just me, or you got cat eyes? Right, he does. Stray cat must have fucked his mum. <laughs> now, what you doing in the city of eternal fire, cat shit? Leave the puffins alone. Worms that insulted our Iraq Emil fuck. Called him an allmonger. I'd sooner snuff out the holy flame itself. Tell them fucking poets to come down here. Shove their fruits up their blaspheming assholes. Yeah, to play a different tune then. Every time they fought. <laughs> Leave the puffins alone. Aye, we will. Alone. What the hell? Black magic. He's a fucking witch. Get him! Ah, oh, what a sight! You really showed them! One, two, over the back, then pow, right in the noggin! I'll finally be able to leave my home without hiding beneath a hood. Thank you very much! Come on, it was nothing. Ah, oh, it was something, right? I don't dare think we've forgotten our promise. We'll strip our voices ragged praising Arena's new play. How much will I owe you? Not a copper! Helped us out. See no reason why we shouldn't help you. Get half of town to come to the play. Wait and see. Some quick preparations and we'll be out in the streets. <laughs> Till the next! Good fight. Some nice footwork there. Challenging me, or is it hell you want to face? A Witcher versus the Beast of Metina. Killer Instinct versus Primal Rage. I'd like to hire you to help. Need us to kick some ass on stage. Actually, want you to usher. Keep the peace. Make sure no one's ass gets kicked on stage or off. Got the wrong man. Ass kicking is what we do. How about a wager? See, Al's no f. Still need something special to convince him. What if I lose? Oh, you'll lose. But we'll still do your little job. You'll just pay us double. 
Fine. Cough up the coin, sir. Double the wages, as promised. But if I win, I get it back. Now, finish him! Got something special like that! Ushers. Wonderful. That's one matter resolved. Wanted to talk about the text itself. Hmm. It's not at all badly written. In fact, I quite like it. I was willing to relax my standards to help Dudu, but we may have something very interesting here. I've very clear ideas who to cast as the servant, the witcher, and the queen, but I'm not certain who should play the prince. Who's playing the Witcher? An amateur. It'll be my first time working with him. But I'm confident he'll pull it off. Newcomer to the troupe? In a sense. Oh, stop pretending you don't know. I'm talking about you. I'm no actor. Might not have noticed, but I'm a little low on emotional expression. But that's perfect. After all, you're to play the Witcher, not the Princess. Besides, you must appear on stage. Dudu must see you. It's the... You're right. Just never thought I... You'll be fine, dear. So, about the princess. Priscilla would be the obvious choice. She's young. Let's have Priscilla do it. No offense, but uh, most people... Assign greater importance to appearance than to talent. I shall let her know. So who do you see playing? I'm finding it hard to decide between two candidates. Abelard Ritzer would be the safe bet. He's been part of our troupe for ages, has flawless technique. Who's your other option? Maxim Bollier. 
outstanding actor, and audiences love him. But sadly, I could... Let's risk it and give the role to Max. He's had a good spell of late, so... These performances bring in... Well, it varies. Of, of course we shall pay you a fee as well. <laughs> Thanks. All right, got the... It seems so. Pre we can start now. Well, we've no time to lose. Come Zoltan, what are you doing here? <laughs> Pessy told me you like to put on a play. Were you playing the lead? I'm not the lead. No, oh, I thought to myself, I'd sooner shave my beard than miss that. Tell me what you are. Are you going to wear hose and a codpiece? Come, Geralt. You must focus your mind before you go on stage. Good luck. Ladies and gentlemen. Most honorable citizens of the hallowed city of Novigrad, welcome. We have for you a tale moving and heartbreaking. Its title, A Changeling Rescued or the Witcher's Triumph. The players, Witcher Geralt as himself, Katarina as the Queen, Leo Rybe as the humble servant, appearing as the prince, the delight of audiences far and wide, Maxime Bollier. And as the princess, the lovely Trabaritz with the voice of a nightingale, Priscilla. <laughs> Majesty, the monster slayer awaits. Your summons he's answered and stands at the gates. Show him in. I must speak to the man. Lest that dread beast take my daughter's hand. Witcher, your task is a matter most tender. Her monster shall show at tonight's feastly splendor. Stand guard, beware, kill the beast if he shows, and a grateful queen shall reward your woes. To slay beasts most foul, t'was for this I was made. I kill as my calling, not just to get paid. He swallowed the bait, this fool of a witcher. I'll ensure the foul bow reveals his true figure. The monster revealed, the witcher shall strike. The beast will he slay, thrust his head on a pike. Ah, oh, my child will pity her love, this beast, but a fiend and a maid. No, this must cease. Gathered are we, a host fair and noble, to celebrate this day, the princess's betrothal. Alas, no monster do I see or hear. Perhaps midst the guests he hides, in fear. My dear... Long have we hid our love's tender fires. In stealth we'd kiss, um, uh, uh, deceitful like liars. Tonight shall it end. Be my wife, that's my plea. Our hearts torment over, we shall love for centuries. Oh, darling, I will, I will, I will! Wait, with wine must we toast, if not a foul cur- Ah, 
Ah! It is not wine, but a brew spiked with silver. Soon, all shall see my true monstrous figure. Hark, hark, tis no prince. Seems men's hearts can love for changelings foster. Behold, Witcher, the beast of which I spoke. Unleash your sword, let fly the killing stroke. Stop, stop, beast or man, tis my love, my betrothed. Sheath your blades, changing one's shape does not make one. Remember, tis not flesh. But a heart that is base, such as in this... Witcher, tis true. Tainted my mind with this plan. The Doppler must live, beast or man, she loves him true. Tis our tales. No monster is he whose shape can shift. The Witcher is just a true... But you, foul page, in chains you shall end. Guard! Call the guard! Rem hey, hear the princess's command. Come up here. Doppler's to the stake! Burn them all! He's right! I mummers! Don't know the eternal fire's commandments! Blasphemers! All the teach and respect for the faith! What are you on about? Shut the fuck up and clap before I tear your new arseholes! Tear me a new one? We'll see about that. On your feet, boys! Give them a taste of hell! In the name of the church! Give us a hand, Witcher. Can't take them on our own. Greetings, Dudu. Heard about that souvenir Horson left on your face. So, you know everything? Have you seen Siri? No. Still looking for her. Geralt! Masterful! You did great. Haven't they laughed that hard in ages? Lads won't believe it when I tell them. Explain one thing to me. How do you and Dandelion manage to displease Reuven, Horson, and the temple guard all at the same time. It's not as if we planned it. <laughs> I know Siri went back to Horsens to get you. How do you manage to escape? I ran after her, wanting to keep up, but I'd have been a hindrance. She called out to me, entreated me to shapeshift and disappear. I tried to find them, Siri and Dandelion. It was as if they turned to vapor. Fearing for my life, I shifted each day, becoming someone else. Even considered turning into Siri to trick her pursuers, but... Slow down, Marmalade. Hmm. Geralt, when did you last see Cirilla? Hmm? Been a while, hasn't it? A while, yeah. For me, likewise. 
Must be a full-grown lass by now. Do, do, do us a wee favour. Show us silly for a moment. Geralt? Transform. Change into her. I feel strange. Both of you staring at me bug-eyed. Is that enough? Yeah. Plenty. Bad idea. Not angry with me, are you, Geralt? No. I feel relieved. And Dandelion? Were you able to find him? Witch hunters nabbed him. But there's good news, too. Menga's dead. Ugh. A fiend. Good thing someone finally killed it. Though another, just as bad or worse, would likely take its place. Wouldn't be so quick to assume. Got a feeling it could be a decent fellow. What's he talking about? We think we can free Dandelion. Just need your help. What could I do? Take on Menga's appearance. Then go and give the order for Dandelion to be moved to Oxenfurt. We'll lie in ambush in a ravine en route. Spring Dandelion from the convoy when it rolls by. Wait, not so fast. How am I to be Menga? And I've no notion where Dandelion's being held. Dandelion's on Temple Isle, imprisoned there. You'll need to find out exactly where. But what if they grow suspicious? Start asking questions. I'll bet my best axe no one will pester the commander of the Temple Guard. Besides, you're a Doppler and an actor, and an actor and a Doppler. Got double the spark to improvise your way out of any situation. If things get spicy, you'll just nip round the corner and transform into a buxom wench, a, a jackdaw, or whatever else strikes your fancy. Of course, it's that simple. Thanks. No one knows Menga's dead. No one save you. Would this have anything to do with the fire at the Witch Hunter's barracks? We were in the area. <laughs> I sorely regret not seeing that. Listen, you'll manage. Everybody believes Menga's missing. You can make up any story you want. My lads and me will lie in ambush in the ravine. Geralt will then join us and we'll await word from you. But how am I to contact you as Menga? Send word that the convoy's left. You'll need to figure that out. Come on, Guile's your middle name. So, we all clear? Dudu, get your ass to Temple Isle. I'm off to assemble my crew. And we'll be waiting for you, Geralt. Yeah, see you in the ravine. Whoa, wait! Hold on! What happens after? I, I hope you don't expect me to continue as Menga. Live like Chappelle. Burning the occasional heretic to keep up appearances? No. Once it's over, we expect to see you at the Rosemarian Time, where we'll all meet. To get pissed like wild badgers. So, settled. Let's get to work. You were marvelous. Not a single mistake. The performance in general. What did you think? I doubt the audience understood it all, but that's to be expected. I'm just pleased the Puffins got the word out. That was quite the crowd. Such a shame Maxim went on stage inebriated after all. Some of the crowd demanded refunds. Here you are. Your fee. I must admit your style of mumming, well, it's quite minimalist. Did you study anywhere? At Kerr Morhen. Minimum expression means maximum effect. Thanks for the coin. Take care now. Take care now.
The second sword. Is it in case the first one breaks? Smart. Let us live, eh? Hand over the documents, thief. Me? A thief? I won him straight, I did, in a game of... Not how Mug sees it. He lost. Demand... Give me the papers. You have to. True. Definite. Seems everything's ready. Aye. As soon as we catch sight of them, we'll block the road against the whole unit if need be. And... Uh, you know, I think it's a great plan all round, uh, and I'm always glad to help. And uh, it's not like I'm not eager to crack some holier-than-thou bugger skulls, but... Seems as we've got a Doppler, wouldn't it have been easier to have him release Daniel? Too suspicious. Think... <sighs> Priscilla, what are you doing here? Some child brought a note from Dudu. The convoy will leave at dawn. May I stay with you? Never fear, my dear. You're coward. But go back to town. Oh, come on. This is no place for her. Something happens. Need I remind you that you're here to rescue Dandy? Fine. I know. As soon as the. Not much happen. Well, how about a game of Gwen? Sure, let's play.
Ever one again? My goodness. So, another hand. If you've no more coin, we could play for... They're coming! They're coming now! Priscilla, stay here. are deep. Horse was carrying a heavy load. He's a root seller, you are. Anyone right through here? Two men. Oh, why? Something of the kind dashed by. Turned left there. 
But twere a wench you were carrying, swear it on your head, squealing and wailing so. started limping. Is it? You tell me! One of them hunters barged into our hut, turned us out before we could so much as fart in protest! There another man with him, tall, dark-haired? Aye, jabbering the whole time. Hmm, dandelion. So, huh? Truth be told, there is. Want to get rid of this hunter or not? Honest? We'd see you all gone. Thanks. Be sure that you won't try anything. I'll go with you. Not like I really have a choice now, do I? There will be no trickery along the way. I could wring your neck like a fat end, you realize. Yes, but I also realize you won't. My corpse is worth nothing to you, whereas a lot, like I said, a hundred gold ingots. One hundred gold ingots. No more, no less. Or I'm not Julian Alfred Pankrat's Viscount Dalettenhold. Viscount? Come on. Everybody calls you Dandelion. That, my friend, is what we call an assumed identity. Can't expect me to reveal my full title to every toy or idiot I run across. Now, if you could just unbind. You've made a wise choice. Very wise. Might not be more than a sergeant today, but tomorrow. Quiet! Stop it. What? No, 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 you see. Me and Jack, we don't. Whoa, 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 whoa. Damn, you're ugly.
And how can I be sure that you won't try anything? I'll go with you. It's not like I really... You've made a wise choice. Very wise. Might not be more than a sergeant today, but tomorrow... Quiet! Stop me hurting. What? No, 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 you see? Me and Dad, we don't... And how can I be sure that you won't try anything? I'll go with you. It's not like I really have a choice now, do I? You've made a wise choice. Very wise. Might not be more than a sergeant today, but tomorrow. Quiet! Stop me hurt something. What? No, 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 you see? Me and Dad, we don't... And how can I be sure that you won't try anything? I'll go with you. You've made a wise choice. Very wise. Might not be more than a sergeant today, but tomorrow. Quiet! Stop me hurting. What? No, 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 you see? Me and Dad, we don't... Geralt, must you ruin everything? I had him just where I wanted him. Ah, uh, <laughs> it is good to see you, friend. Been a while since you were last in Novigrad. What's... Come on, we'll talk outside. Priscilla! What are you doing here? You all right? You have me worried sick. Dandelion, you rascal! Got this lash to thank for his racing after you. 
She chivied and chivied. Shame you arrived too late to see us hoodwink that hunter. I had a plan all set, but then Geralt! Dandelion, I need to ask you something. It's important, so focus. Where's Siri? Siri? I thought, seeing how you're here, you haven't seen her? I... Well, I don't know where she is. I know you tried to help her. Gotta say, I'm having trouble under... No one else came to mind. Maybe, given more time, I'd have done things differently, but Siri said the Wild Hunt was on her. Horson seemed pretty harmless by comparison. Something went wrong. So you've heard everything. I hope you're not mad. You can't be. My plan was perfect. Until we put it in motion. How was I supposed to know Manga was after Doo-Doo? Heard enough about your plan. Need to know what happened to Siri now. When did you last see her? We were on Temple Isle, running from Horson's men. What an adventure. One minute we were pulling off the heist of the century, the next we were prey. A pack of hunters on our tail. Yeah, a splendid story, but I think I've had my fill of this boasting. Come, Zoltan. We must convince the halflings they saw nothing at all. Gave me enough material for a volume of ballads. And this one will sell like hotcakes. Nobody's gonna read that drivel. Sheesh. What crawled into your britches and bit you? I'm just... worried. 
About who? You have any idea how she fights? The girl can take... Anyway, she's got to come back for that little box. Mean this? You get it from Orson? Whoa, Siri will be overjoyed. Orson, on the other hand, has got to be pretty furious. Orson's dead. Ooh, guess you're no stranger to fury either. Well, can't say I regret the man's abrupt passing. Deserved it as much as he deserved that awkward nickname. What about our old friend, Siggy Reuven? Been to see him yet? He's fine. Oh, that's too bad. Because there's a good chance he's furious with me. Siri ever tell you what this is? And Horson, why'd she go to him with it? She went to Horson because I took her there. Could have guessed that was your idea. What? Her magic bauble was broken. Horson had access to the mages who could fix it. Besides, she needed help deciphering a curse. It's incantation. What was Ciri's interest in this curse? Did she want to cast it or lift it, she tell you? She wasn't all that willing to talk about it. I didn't want to pry. The one time when it might have been useful. But I'm almost positive she meant to lift it. Off who? What? Or was it about her directly? No. I don't... But boy, was she in a hurry. Know any more about the curse? Something specific? A detail? Anything? Hmm. Well, I know the words. You're kidding. No, they were elven. Siri was constantly repeating them to herself. Probably not to forget. Went like this. The file Elaine Kiadmil Foli. Glad of Don Ep Tanaid Bundro Isne Iakas. Doesn't mean a thing to me. Even less to me. Damn it, that's just not enough. Siri say anything else? Didn't say much at all, to be honest. Geralt, she's no longer that little girl who ran around Kaer Morin. Sure, she's still impulsive, alive, but she's also stubborn and sulky. <laughs> Apple didn't fall far from the tree, let me tell you. Right. She slipped away again. I was so close. Hmm. She came here from Velen. Somebody there helped her, apparently. Maybe she went back. Doubt it. Talked to the Baron there. He's the one helped Siri. Said she rode off to Novigrad to look for Yen and me. And Yen's in Skellige, looking into traces she thinks Siri left behind there. So... Skellige? Skellige. You two have chatted enough. Now it's my turn to talk to Dan and I. And I'll gladly have a go at him when you're done. Let's get back to the Rosemary in time. Well, I've certainly had my share of excitement for one day. A juicy roast in a soft bed with fluffy pillows. I think that's the least I'm owed. We haven't seen each other, talked, in ages. Consider dropping by if you're in the area. I'm sure to be by sometime soon. I'll hold you to that, Geralt. See you soon. And thanks again for today. Nothing really. Got oodles of them. <laughs> Just uh, if you wouldn't mind not mentioning where you got it. All right. All right. Farewell. Oh. Hi. 